What is up guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna be unboxing the 12 foot family bed. Today in our house, I have purchased a brand new bed from the Bedding Mart. It's called the Family Bed. You can look it up online. It's pretty crazy. I'll link it below. Um, but it is a 12 foot by 84 inch bed, which is crazy. And a lot of people have been asking me since I, uh, or since my wife has uh, posted about it and told people we got a huge bed. Um, and no, we do not co-sleep with our kids, or at least try not to. Sometimes they sneak in while we're sleeping and try to crawl in the, the bed with us. I mean, we have five kids. It happens. But I really personally got it selfishly because I'm six foot three and I've been hanging off about three inches off of our bed that we currently have, which is a, uh, a king bed. And it's one of those things where I was like really tired of just not having the adequate space to lay my entire body on a bed versus hanging off for years. And I have literally hung off the bed for years while our bed actually broke because we've had it for years and the frame messed up. And so... Uh, making a new frame for the king bed, moving it downstairs, and then also I'm going to be building a platform frame for this family bed. You can purchase a separate frame separately uh, from the, the Bedding Mart or other companies that make it for this family bed, but I decided to make one, so I'll be posting that video later, but this video is going to be unboxing the 12-foot family bed. Let's take a look. All right, so don't mind the mess in the bedroom, but I have... Uh, moved our king bed off of its frame and the pillows and blankets the thousands of pillows that my wife likes to collect and yeah there it is i'm going to be moving that downstairs shortly uh because again i have these three boxes there's a big hole right there i checked it and it's fine but i'm kind of curious because i thought this was one bed all together it is uh made out of foam and stuff so it's supposed to be super comfortable and all that so we'll see what that looks like but three different boxes one is incredibly heavy and the other two are a little bit lighter but still heavy so let's dig into these and see what they are it's hard to film you know when you have a lot of kids because i mean when you have five kids there's a lot of noise and a lot of movement and a lot of stuff you just can't control so just gotta be real with you guys it's crazy sometimes box number one Ooh. This looks like, yeah, I, th I think I'm right. I think it's going to be layers. So that being said, I'm going to pull this guy out and then we'll see what we have. Found out it is layers. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can see it decently. You got the support, you got your cover, and then the top layer provides lots of cushioning. So yeah, it'll be pretty sweet once it's done. Oh, there comes Banks. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's never a dull, dull moment around here. Isn't that right, Banks? Isn't that right? What are you doing? Huh? Whoa! So I'm going to guess this is the actual support system since it is the heaviest piece that we have in here. Banks, what are you doing? Your diaper's about to fall off and you're about to roll off that thing. I kind of want to see what happens. See, this is what I'm talking about. You just, you really never know what's going to happen in the house. It's kind of like I'm on a safari right now, just, just waiting for the, the animal to attack or be attacked. And the last box, finally. I think very similar to the first box is the support layer. So the, the product actually came with these little plastic terror kind of pieces, um, plastic, uh, I don't know what you call them, plastic cutters. Yeah, thank you, babe. I can't, I can't even think right now. Uh, life with five kids. Um, yeah, little razors to cut open these very thick plastic uh, sheets and all that. So let's get to work. I don't know if you can hear the sound of this, but listen to this foam mattress just blowing up out of the, the box. Listen. Whew. 
all right, so the bed is done. It is huge. I don't know if you can see or under, well, let me actually help with that. I'm six foot three, check this out. Look how much space I have. And it's very comfortable. Uh, this is an incredible bed. Thank you, Bedding Mart, for selling it to us. And I'm stoked to sleep on it tonight. However, for some reason, the fitted sheet that we ordered with the bed didn't come in the box. So I have to get that. But in the meantime, we'll sleep with separate comforters because it's like two California Kings together. It's pretty crazy. So you should buy one if you're thinking about it. Whether you co-sleep or not, like I said, we don't really do that. But I'm tall. Laura takes up the entire bed, so needs need some space. Andy Gump, what you doing? You like the new bed? So, I thought about a few uses for them, but before we do anything with them, I need you guys to throw them over this little balcony over here so we can have a little competition to see who makes the loudest sound when it hits the ground. You ready? <laughs> Me versus you versus Emery. Got it? Every man for themselves. <laughs> what do you think, Banks? <laughs> what do you think? Hey, what's the goat say? Nah. <laughs> Kids, do not do this at home. Emery, you ready? Drop it straight down. Don't throw it. Let it drop right down on the ground. You ready? Three, two, one, drop. Oh, Yikes. That was pretty good. All right, next one. You ready? I repeat, do not do this at home. Hopefully this doesn't put a hole in the wall. All right. Go ahead, Mara. Drop it. Three, two, one, drop. Mara! <laughs> you almost took out Mom. I can't raise you five foot yeah, little bit. Yikes! It's because I have the plastic wrap in it. 